Hi everyone, welcome back to my another video. My name is Yusuke, if you're new here. How are you guys doing? For me, I've been doing great, but look at this. I got a huge pimple under my nose. I feel like I'm still a teenager. I'm not a teenager though, but like if this means that I'm still young, I'm totally okay with this pimple. It looks kind of bad though. Anyway, so um, uh, since I came back to Japan from South Korea and I have news for you guys. I got a new job and now that I have a new job, I moved into a new apartment. So today I'm giving you my room tour. And why I'm doing this video today is that because I wanted to give you guys some idea of living in a one room apartment in Japan. Um, my room is average in terms of its rent and size. You'll be able to see what it is like to be living in one room apartment in Japan. And it's gonna be fun, especially for those who are planning on moving here. I moved into this apartment like two weeks ago. I don't have so much stuff yet, but like I'm I'm having a great life here. I'm so happy with this apartment and with my new life. And I'm happy to be sharing with you guys today. Let's go. Here's the entrance. It's so small. Only one person can fit. Uh, it's my umbrella. It was raining today. And on the left, there's a shoe box. I have two pair of shoes and uh, slippers for a guest for you if you come visit me. And I have little stuff in there. Yeah. And then, so when you enter, there's a kitchen on your left. It's a small, tiny kitchen, just one stove. And I have only one pan, like frying pan. And then I have some seasoning, salt, basil, black pepper, soy sauce, and oil, like vegetable oil. And my toothbrush, hand soap, and dish, dish, uh, dish detergent, and chalkboard, water bottle, chopsticks and spoon and there's a little shelf above the sink <laughs> it's kind of messy and then under the sink there's another shelf and I have toilet papers and some plastic bags and I have some uh, weak glass juice and then what I have here is a fridge. It's so small, isn't it? It's like like forty centimeters tall, I think. Let's open it. Um, I have a quite a lot of stuff in the fridge. Well, like I always have. Um, coffee ready for the mornings and then I love um, black vinegar and then some natto and yogurt and uh, some veggies and fruit. Do you guys have any idea what this is? It's actually a freezer. Can you believe that? <laughs> what can we have in there? Like I wanted to make an ice. But you know, it's still water. <laughs> I put this like four hours ago, five hours ago. Like, it's, not, it's not gonna freeze, I think. It can't make any ice in my little freezer. I can't put it back. I can't put it back. But do I have to put it back? I don't think so because, you know, it's not gonna work. Anyway. Ah! <clears throat> New white nest. <sighs> anyway, and I have some, have some food. Half-eaten popcorn, <laughs> piece of bread, 
uh, canned fish and instant rice for emergency. And then on the right, it's our bathroom and shower room. I'm gonna introduce that later. So I'll just move on to my room. Ta da! It's my standing desk and it's my bag. That's my bed. I mean, like my, my mattress. And this room doesn't have a um, closet, so I placed like those little sticks in the room over there. So like I'm hanging my clothes like this. Today I did my laundry, so that's so wet. And then I bought like this stuff, so since I don't have a closet, I put like little stuff in my like underwear and, and towels and socks in this hanging rack. Is this hanging rack? What is this? What is this called? I don't know. Anyway, like I have so many different stuff in this. And then, because I moved here with this luggage, I still have it there and some water. And I have a small little desk. I always eat on that table. Like, oh yeah. And then, this is my, then this is my workplace. It's a standing desk. My laptop, my iPad Pro, and I have some uh, weak, weak lots juice. And there are, and there is air conditioner. So usually Japanese apartments have our uh, air conditioner installed already, so you don't have to buy new one. But it really depends if uh, the room, the rooms are like furnished or not. Like my room wasn't furnished except uh, the air conditioner and the refrigerator. So I have to buy a laundry machine which I haven't bought yet. Now you heard his voice, right? Uh, I have a little roomie over here. Ta da! Jay! Jay Jay! <laughs> Jay! You're on the camera. Say hi. <laughs> he knows his name. Jay, he's a little budgie. Australian budgie. So cute. He's still a baby, like uh, two months old. He's still a baby. Hi Jay. I'm living with him since I moved here. It's his room. He's got a huge house. And that window. There's some like room here. I don't know how I can use this space. Maybe I should put some rock or like some small shelf. Uh, in the blue box, I have some uh, uh, hair blower, uh, hair straightener, and some like um, facial cream and body cream, and those and, like these kind of stuff in there and some paper boxes. I didn't buy a bed because, because I'm thinking to move to another apartment maybe a few years later. Cause I don't think I'm gonna be here for like many years. So I only bought uh, a mattress and I'm totally fine with this mattress. It's comfortable to sleep on. And my blanket and my pillow. That's 
pretty much everything I have in my new room. Ta da! <laughs> Rubbish. It's, it's kind of. It's a little bit messy over there, so I can't show you guys. Okay, now let's take a look at my. Shower room. Are you ready? Ta da! The toilet. And then this is the bath. Oh, shower room. Or the bathroom. This is the shower room. This is the bathroom. It's pretty small. <laughs> and here's the funny thing. Look at the ceiling. Let's see. For the toilet, the ceiling is like high enough, but for the sh shower, it's pretty low, isn't it? Let me go into the shower room. Oops. <laughs> look like this <laughs> like I'm 157 centimeters tall so I can still fit in with this seating which is placed really really low so I'll take a shower even though the shower head hits the seating I can still take a shower here but I really really wonder how other people who are much taller than me take a shower in here maybe they have a, a like a little chair and take a shower sitting or they don't take a shower who knows anyway like isn't it funny <laughs> I don't know if you can tell how low the ceiling is, but it's pretty low. It's placed pretty low, look here. There's only a little space above my head. Anyway, <laughs> that's the shower room. That's pretty much about my new room. <laughs> There's nothing anymore. Since you can see there's no closet or like many space to put things on or in. Like I, I try not to have many stuff. I've become more like a minimalist, I think. I only have what I really need for my daily life and since I only have like few things like it saves my time and mental energy because I don't have to choose things because they're only things I use on a daily basis which is good and you know I used to enjoy like shopping for clothes but now I only have um I've got a few clothes and they pretty look same and I only have like black socks. My life has been pretty simple and easy since I moved here. I like uh, the current like I am having here. And I want to thank my friend who is a minimalist. I met him like four years ago and I spent a year with him. Like we were roommates and I really admire his lifestyle. He didn't own um, a lot of stuff. Back then, I had so many stuff and I wasted a lot of stuff. Obviously, my friend inspired me to try a minimalistic lifestyle and it has been great. Like, I am so free of obsession with uh, materials, knowing what I need and what I don't. Anyway, I am very happy here and I'm enjoying my... Uh, my new lifestyle anyway hope you guys are having a good day and i'll see you guys in my next video bye